Hello, Coach Anush Gagula here. Welcome to your better life with Anush TV. The place to be to start creating the kind of life you've always wanted. Your go-to every week for success, healthy lifestyle, and transformation. Today's video is for you. If you want to have more energy, more vitality, and more fulfillment in your life, are you ready? Do you ever find yourself tired, kind of lost, and all over the place? I am about to share with you four easy steps you can take to shift from feeling tired and blah to feeling focused and energized so that you can set yourself up for success. If you're ready, here we go. So step one, very, very important, change your environment, move and breathe. When you are feeling tired and down, put yourself in a different state, put yourself in a different environment, put yourself in action, move and breathe. It may be a five minute walk outside, or it may be jumping on your trampoline or dancing to your favorite song. Just like this. It is amazing, trust me. The whole point here is breaking your pattern, getting yourself out and above the situation that you are in and oxygenating yourself. So let me explain. When you are rebounding, you're flooding your cells with oxygen. You know it. We as humans can survive without oxygen. Oxygen produces ATB, the energy without which our bodies would shut down. The oxygen is distributed to in your blood to trillions of cells in your body that use the oxygen as a fuel to release energy, also known as ATP. So give yourselves the oxygen they need to get the energy that you need. And if you want even more oxygen circulated in your body, there's a special breathing technique you can do as you are walking outside. It will stimulate your immune system and most importantly, it will make you psychologically and emotionally strong. Research done at MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, proved that changing the way we breathe can radically change our psychological and emotional states. This technique is called breath walking, and here is how you can do it. Inhale four times through your nose and exhale four times out your mouth. So four in, four out, and align each breath with each step. And next time you're walking outside, try this breathing technique. See how much different you will feel only after walking like this for five minutes and breathing like this as well. So, so wrapping up the step one is that put yourself in action, move and breathe. Extremely simple, but extremely important. Step number two, change your focus and practice gratitude. At this stage, flood yourself with gratitude to get rid of the stress consciously start being thankful for everything that you already have in your life versus focusing on what you don't want to have in your life notice what's right in your life versus what's wrong what's wrong is always available but so is what's right what's right with your life think feel see and say and be grateful for everything that is right in your life Gratitude is an amazing emotion. It changes your body, it changes your emotions, and it changes your mind. I did my power walk this morning, and as I was doing this gratitude part of it, I started smiling all of a sudden. My stress disappeared, and there was this beautiful sense of joy. So that's right, when you are grateful, stress disappears. When you are grateful, your fears dissipate. When you're grateful, you feel rich inside. And here is how you can put yourself consciously in the state of gratitude. Yes, you know, I know you might be stressed, but as you are doing this exercise, do you mind putting down your stress on hold for a few seconds? And you can always come back to it if you want to, but let's just try this gratitude thing for five minutes. So as you are walking, take in the environment you're in. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if it's sunny or dark, just notice everything around you. Refocus and see how alive you feel. Think of the people that love you. Who do you love who loves you? See their faces, see their smiles. And when I'm doing this gratitude exercise, I start with noticing the nature around me. You know, the beautiful blue skies above me. We're so blessed in California. My feet moving me forward without me doing anything about them. My heart beating without me telling it to. 
So I think about my little baby Gina and her laughter. I think about my husband and the love we share. I think about my closest family members, my sister, my mother, my friends, the amazing clients that I have. Then I think of all the great things that I enjoy in my life, like the ocean that we go to every weekend, my beautiful apartment, my car, the wonderful, amazing, inspiring coaching community that I'm a part of, and the coaching clients whose lives improve with each session. So in this gratitude state, also think of all the magical moments of your life. It doesn't, there is no right or wrong moment. Just think all the moments where you felt super powerful, where you felt happy, in service, and on purpose. See yourself laughing with all your heart. Just flood yourself with these good feelings as you're walking. Stack one great emotion, one great experience, one week victory over another, and notice how much different you will feel. And after flooding yourself with gratitude, you will be in a much more resourceful state, trust me where you are strong and powerful and centered versus being lost and all over the place. So try it next time. And step three, set yourself up for success. After emotional flooding, get clear about what you want to create in your life. Set up your day to be a total victory. Take a look at the day that's coming before you. You know, our days are built, we create them. And our lives are built by our days and the ways we handle them. So in this stage, Visualize your day as you want it. Move into the future and look back at your day as if it has already done. See, feel, or get a sense of what you want to happen in your life. Focus on your goals and dreams, but see them as if they have already happened. See yourself achieving the results that you want. See yourself getting the results that are just right for you and program your mind and body with what you want. See some of the meetings that you are going to have. See the deal made. See the smiles of the, on the people's face. See everything that you really want to happen as if it is already done. And see the laughter, see the fun that is going to come out of that day. Feel your day as a victory. See a day, it as a day that was well lived and feel excited for another day where you are living your best life. Feel excited for the opportunities, you know, the challenges, the fun, the taste of life. Feel the day as magnificent. And as you come back home, write down all of the outcomes that you want for the day, and then go and get them. And finally, step number four, nourish your body. Hydrate your body. We have done an entire episode on the magical healing powers of water. So drink water, watch the episode, and eat clean. And also, in a few minutes, I want to share with you a magical juice recipe that I share with my family and that many of my clients make it as part of their morning ritual. Sun is rising, feel the warmth of my face. So all we need for this amazing green juice is celery. We need five stalks of celery. Celery is a major antioxidant and it is very important to make it a part of your diet. And if you drink it in a juice, you will just, you know, have it in your body if you don't like eating it. And then we need parsley, just one bunch. We also need ginger. You know how great ginger is. It's anti-inflammatory. And we also need lemon. If you don't know the beautiful powers of lemon, Google it and make it a part of your diet. So let's just get started, okay? So let's start with celery. It's very easy. Uh, by the way, I love our juicer. It makes it very easy. We enjoy this almost, you know, weekly. We change our juice recipes, but it's really, really great. So. Uh -huh. And it only takes like, what, five minutes to make it? yet you have energy for the entire day. Mm -hmm. Finally. This little thing could help. Mm -hmm. Yes, magical parsley. By the way, with our juicer, it's so easy to clean. If you need help figuring out which juicer you need, please leave us a comment and we'll be happy to help you with that.
And as you are making this juice, don't forget the most important ingredient, which is love. Love for your body, love for the people that you care about. And here we have more parsley. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Our juicer allows us to do it without cleaning the peel. So just one lemon. Ideally, you would want to have organic lemons. Oops. <laughs> and finally, the last ingredient, it would be ginger. Okay. You know, ginger has this very spicy taste to it, but after a while, you will get used to it and your body will be fine. In fact, you would start craving this healthy juice every now and then. So we're almost, almost done. The juice is almost ready. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Perfect. And now I'm going to pour it and share it with the people that I care about the most. And over there we have our great team member. We have Nico and we have my husband, the producer of the show. It looks amazing, it is green and it is healthy. And remember, every time you put something in your body, think of it, is it cleansing you or is it clogging you? This is definitely a cleanser. Mm, it's amazing. I had one glass one before I came here. Now I have the second one. I'm gonna have so much energy. I'm gonna be terrible to handle. Sun is rising. Feel the warmth of my face There's a lot to do now But there ain't no rain That's all for today. Try out today's four easy steps to more energy. I challenge you to start your days with this for a week and feel the difference and be the judge for yourself. Experience the power, the vitality, the energy and the joy of your body as you feel totally alive with force. You know, these strategies along with life coaching success psychology have totally transformed my life and the lives of people we coach. So join our tribe and also use these techniques. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I would like to hear from you. What are your morning rituals? And what do you do to have more energy to, and to reduce your stress? And was this episode helpful? If you like this episode, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and share it with your people. Until next time, remember that life is what you make it. So make your life outstanding.